The core values of the Department of Fairness, Respect, Integrity and Responsibility, they apply to the way we teach, act, think and communicate with students, parents, and community members. As such, how we as educational professionals deal with the copyright of our own work, that of our students, and other content creators is wrapped up in those core values. There is however, a lot of misunderstanding and misinformation about copyright. This video aims to give you a quick overview about how copyright applies in distance education. The key message is that copyright allows us to a lot of things, as long as we follow the guidelines. We should be alert about infringing copyright, but not alarmed, as long as we are undertaking tasks for educational purposes, rather than commercial ones. Copyright protects the owner against the unauthorized use of their work by others. Copyright applies to text works, artistic works and photographs, musical works, sound recordings, film, video and DVDs, CD-ROMs, television and radio broadcasts, internet and websites, multimedia, databases, computer software. Copyright allows teachers to hyperlink to material, embedded content, use your own original material, use content created by your school and other units with our department, use content marked as free for educational use, or open education resources. Even though it is okay to copy, you need to acknowledge who the copyright owner is. In all other instances, teachers need to rely on special provisions in the Copyright Act to use other people's material. Basically you need the copyright owner's written permission to use their work and must acknowledge that you have that permission. This includes examples of student work. You definitely can't hyperlink to or embed pirated material. Place any content on the repository that you don't have the copyright permission for. Copyright allows you to protect the creative rights of content creators and meet and model ethical standards to our peers and students.